This is Skype FM Radio from studios in West York, CLA. We're live on here because uh, the, to talk about this very important topic titled History of Banjul de Gambia. My name is Mustafa Jame Abisit. I'm here with Mr. Uh, Ibrahim Jawo and Mr. Dembo. Uh, he will be taking us through this very important topic title, History of Banjul de Gambia. services 24 hours around the clock for your convenience and privacy send or receive money to the gambia senegal gina bissau gina conakry mali and of course africa for as little as one pound as transaction fee at yaya you can receive money from any of our payout locations in the gambia such as guaranteed trust bank alias gtb trust bank gambia limited and at our office in Senegal. Download Yaya Instant Money Transfer and Services application to access these and many more services such as Q Power Top Up, Mobile Food Credit Top Up, all at your convenience and privacy 24 hours around the country. For details, contact Yaya Instant Money Transfer and Services on telephone number 02085194007 or 0793095706 or 07 916-147583. Yeah, yeah. Instant money transfer and services here to help out. Welcome back after that sort of effort. Uh, back here on Sky Power FM Radio. Thank you so much for being there. We're live on Facebook and on the radio here with Dembo Fati and Ibrahim Jawa. Three of Banjul de Gambia. Boki de Lukatin, you lend in your feet to Sky Power FM Radio. Bismillah teaching Buntu program, Bite Watanbe, Jubuai, Bimoide, Manam Fatale, one tag, Eddie Wante, BT Rajabe, Te Quinchi Am, Kunya Watan, Modi, Ibrahim Jao, Aka, Dembo Fati, Lama Lava Dow, and Balcon to the Cabana Sky Power FM Radio de Jang, a Conton Roko, and Bacola Leco, a program of Mialon Konga, Palan, Dolas, and Balan and Jambi, Mimu Banjula History, Mimbe, Kajal and Jambi, Wolon, Dembo Fati, and Ibrahim Jao. Uh, scientific health and kela ponce dembo bula animal senior pantong and then concern roko la ni ibrahim fanansita uh, banjula history to uh, assalamu alaikum dembo in imbara yeah assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum yes um we are back again on the history of banjul yeah um i think we're back for a couple of reasons um i think importantly it's important that when you discourse about the settlement, um, it makes a lot of sense to have someone also from, let's say, who is a native of the place That's to right. come and, and share more detailed issues about that particular settlement, rather than just looking at the research part of it. So that's one reason why we're having Jao here. At least Jao will be able to take us through some of the things, the, the nitty gritties of Banyul, what makes Banyul tick, some of the uh, folklore, the stories, and the, the tales about Banjul, those things are best um, explained by someone from the area. Um, so I think as part of the ongoing program, I'm trying to discuss the 
stories of the various settlements in the Gambia. We, I am hoping that at least we can go around the country, I mean, all over from Kwana to Kato. And, and I think it should be a challenge to every Gambian who is watching or listening to the program, yep. that if you have something to share with your settlement, you can reach out to uh, Mustafa at Skypower, and then we will schedule you, and yeah. you can come on board and tell us something about your settlement. I think we, there is a lot of information about our settlements that are not shared, that are not written in books, and I, it will be an interesting story uh, to compile or an audio or a video so that people, you know, generations to come can look back and say, hey, you know what, I didn't know this about my settlement, but at least there's a video here or there's audio here that I can relate to that I can share with my grandkids. And I think uh, it's not only Banjul. We did uh, Georgetown, we did Banjul, so we should be moving around the country. But it will be much, much easier if natives of those settlements are willing to come forward and share those stories. Because the issue is Banjul and Georgetown are one of the most written about settlements in the Gambia. The yeah. remaining uh, settlements mainly are you know, stories that are not recorded in books. So it would be easier that if people can come forward and help us and share the settlement. I spoke, I reached out to Tamba Sansang for a reason that Tamba Sansang is one of the, it's a very important settlement in the Gambia. Most people wouldn't know, but um, there, there is an important music that was uh, developed from Tamba Sansang that has become very um, international. It's, it's played all over Senegal, Gambia, Guinea, Mali, Ivory Coast. In many parts of West Africa, but the mm -hmm. origin of that song is actually from Tamba Sansa. Most people don't know about that. And right. I think it's important for us to share some of those achievements. There are a lot of settlements that have influenced life, they have influenced history, they have influenced our, I know, basically our, 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 our history. So sharing those information would be quite useful to history teachers, to those who love history. So it's a challenge out to everybody. Please, if you have something to share about your settlement, reach out to the program and we will you know, we'll invite you and then you can share those things with us. And hopefully we can have a comparison to Karo. And I think this is the beginning. Banjul and Georgetown, like I said, are well written about. There's a lot because of the Western influence in those settlements, but not all of the other settlements. So I reach out to somebody from Tamba Sansa and he's willing to come on board. But um, for, for today we have in Jao and uh, he will be leading us through the basics of what makes Banjul tick, the stories, the folklore, the, the interesting things that, you know, we wouldn't know about Banjul. And I think we have the right person on the program today who, who is in a position to share that information. So, Mr. Jawa, I would say welcome to the program. Thank you so much, Dembo. Uh, hello, uh, Mustafa. Greetings to you all. Uh, Assalamu alaikum to uh, the rest of the viewers. Uh, Dembo, I must congratulate you for the job that you're doing in uh, sharing the, the knowledge that you've got, the historical facts, and the research that you're doing regarding uh, national history. <clears throat> As you rightly stated, most of our history is, is, uh, is not written. Uh, it's narrated orally, and it's about time that uh, the younger generation step up and are you guys hearing me very well? Because I've got an earpiece. It's yes, not very loud and clear. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm hearing you. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Uh, so it's important for us to start. Our... Yes, uh, Jao, your, your, your audio is gone. Hello, Jao. So, sorry, I think uh, I had a call coming in. So I've just canceled that call. Yeah, okay. Okay. Hello, am I there? Yeah, you're live, yeah. Yeah. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you loud and clear. Yeah. Um, Hello? Yeah. yeah, we can hear you loud and clear, Joe, yes. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry about this. I had a call that was coming in. Um, yeah. So it's important for us to document our own history, because if you look at it, most of the people that tend to narrate our history, particularly you look at the Jalis, the um, uh, what's it called, the Gewels and uh, Giriots, the, 
most of them are going now. The elderly generation seems to be seems to be going uh, rapidly, and uh, th these people are taking vast knowledge with them that is not been shared or documented anywhere. So um, it's important that I mean people that have love for history step up and start writing our own, own history, as I said, because you go to places like Senegal, you go to other countries, people are doing this. They have taken ownership of their own history and are documenting this for generations that are yet to come. Uh, just a point that I wanted to highlight on that on that Tamba Sansang uh, uh, history that uh, Dembo was saying, uh, Mustafa, if I may. Uh, yeah, know. There is a place which is which is quite important and, and a song that is also very, very uh, unique and a song that has traveled the bound, outside the boundaries of the Gambia. Uh, Sutukung Kunku Sorale. You know, I went to Jara Sutukung uh, sometimes last year when I was in the Gambia and I met a descendant of the Sutukung Kunku Sorale and he was telling me about the history of, of, that, uh, of, that, of that story. So I, it, was, it was so fascinating that we, we've got you know, it, this way, like real, real things that had happened. So it's important for GRTS, you know, for the for the for the media as well, particularly in this day and age when we've got uh, when we've got social media, we need to utilize this as much as possible and make sure that we go out there and recite our own history and share it with people because I am so sure people would love to hear that. And thank you and congratulations on the topic of Banjul. I followed the topic uh, the the program last week. I have been drifting in and out of it, but you did justice to the, to the subject. And I think you brought uh, some important points that many Banjulians did not know about the city itself. Thank you so much, Dembo. Uh, for you to help us out with Banjul. Earlier on, we spoke, you know, we uh, spoke about Banjul, when was it formed? When was it, uh, who are the first settlers of Banjul? So, uh, Abdai Akidemenonu, history, Banjul, Manam, uh, uh, the British, how do they came about to come and settle in Banjul, you know, Nakala, Ipideme, Aidemenonu. So, Hamanda, you, you see, for yourself, you can help us out with Banjul, you know, you got so many histories, you know, traditional, because I'm not some of them, uh, ask my uncle, you go, uh, Alaji Mansur Jai. Uh, yeah, and they said. Uh, small so I'm not best So, to and then street, mm -hmm. how does the name of the streets in Banjul come about? Hey, the man, no, no. Okay. Uh, Jerry Jeff, uh, Mustafa, Dembo, uh, Limadon Wahre, Nyung Lando Kalebuba, the program Bikero, Nyung Kodon Tietan, uh, Limadon Wahre, uh, Chigatel Moine, Nyu Nangufum Nekani Pur, uh, Jill Lingamantene, Moisin Tare, Nyun Singbop, and Yubindako, Nietali Konda, Mag Nubare Barin Yugedem, uh, Gay Lingamantene, Yudan Nietali Jelly Yegi, Nubare Barin Yugay, Maktene, and Yugedem Tam. So it's important for Linga Hamentene, Moy Swing, Swing Ada, Akli, Swing Tare, Chibopam, Yujilko Bindako, Sidoko Agnini, and the Jamano Ken Hamut, Nakalamode, Bodeme Senegal, Dingfugis Lulu, and the Chien and Ravi Ninfa Dingagis Lumeno. The Jamano Jinga Hamenten, Yungi Am Technology and Advanced Benga Am Benga Hamentene, Legi, Sabir Ninga to Momen and Amesa Television Bopa, and the smartphone to Luneka Sineka, Warna Yumuna to document history yu bare 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 mangi dega yang ye wax afere tamba sans ak mang don wane ah jara sutu kong last year rek la fa dem bo wis mo first as of like second time ma dem fa anda fa sumo ben xarit go xamantene wa domi jara fofu la ah ñu tombe fa ak ko xamantene yakarna kumbu sura sutu kong xawma eh mom suma ebo mané sed la ci mom ndik mom eh waxtan neñ li hew sax suma bisi be gaton mota why dama pare wono dem kiram pour record ko so it's important pour you mel nonu uh, whilst you doing the research uh, dembo halata lolu nda way bobu nonu tam dang de dega sutu kungkungu sorale xawma uh, jara naka naka da fa important te lolu way bobu nonu emut gambe dang de senegal ni ko way ndadu dembo wa 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 way bi sorry na way bi way bi bari na sorry na de bari ni koy 
play Senegal, Gambia, or even Mali, the Guinea, the same song. Mm -hmm. But then another important song, Bohamir, for example, Niko or Alalake. Yeah, Alalake. Alalake, Gambia, la Juge. I'm a mm -hmm. better deca wink of wink of fente. That was the reason why Alalake knew. She did get the eye brothers here among problem like give you your tigger lane after we use the first solution to take off way with Alalake. Alalake, Ligi Boko de Gu, the other Malian musician in Yunkoi way. I get the Guinea in Yunkoi way. Senegal Yunkoi way, Gambia Yunkoi way. Why an Eske Nini Hamne Alalake, Bandeka Juge, the cap way. Banula Juge, Gambia Juge? Exactly. I'm going to my way. Hamda Hamda demo. Hm. 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 Kenen kinga hamente ne hamna value lolo koko buko fari koko koko gene jerinyo lene ni moi tenga amse porom ki am porom am hanjar kile nile ame or taki am porom ham mom yeah pixelation jawa I think jawa's got an incoming call there like eh dembo the way like we saying. Um, I think um, you know you mentioned some some traditional history, you know about uh, the entertainment side of it, which is there is this. Uh, Hello. But yeah, yeah, you're gone. Yeah. Hello, Jao. Yeah, Dembo, you can go ahead with the you know um, this uh, thing you were about before. You mentioned it earlier in our the. Uh, uh, last program about there's this thing if you need to be with you need to pay some certain amount or something of such what was that uh yeah there was there's this story about a crocodile in banjul that was called mm -hmm. ten ceilings yes and it was said that the crocodile lived in one of the uh, neighborhoods i think it's in a public restroom or something like that we used to have those those big uh, public health restrooms mm -hmm. and it is said that this crocodile comes in there. Anytime you visit the restroom, it will grab you and then tell you you pay 10 shillings. And, and I wanted to share, I wanted um, the primer to tell us more about that 10 shilling crocodile. It's a story that I've had, you know, about Banjul, but I needed someone to at least, you know, verify it for us and whether it's a folklore or whether it's just, it, it's true, but it's been said. And a lot of interesting things about, um, what's it called again, there's a furnace, that comes out that burns at night i think in one of the streets and there is a football or a drum that says you know you know you hit you die you hit you don't hit you die those kind of stories folklore are very rife in banjo but i needed you know jao to uh, come on board and at least be able to tell us more about those uh, folklore stories about banjo but well, it looks like we yeah. looks like he's I'm here. i think he's on yeah yeah all right yeah. so sorry i was having i was having a bit of a network uh, issue yeah, talking about talking about Banjul. Can you guys get me? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Talking about Banjul, it's it's one of the oldest settlements. Deka you gena mageti bir Gambia la boka. Ti lo hamente ne record nengo suma ebo money. Nda suveke ne so whole history be from when it when we started uh, having records about it, particularly from the British that colonized the Gambia. Uh, you would talk about 1816. Mogena feng. Ti lingwa. Um, or of course, this na dembo shea. Pepe pare dega nata. Si ena magnywa ne. Jab balalulu banjul mungfa won island la buyaga. Si nywa island na chi all of moi dun. Dun mom la all of the oye island. Uh, manam uh, suf lago hamente nondo hakuwur. Ti bepo bor bo dem break banjul ndo mo kuwur mui yakar na mungen de oye joyo. Uh, so hole wow. Bo hole banjul chi nekinam. Niga hamente ne nyu fungi kanyo. Nyugi jogi nyu bare bare bari nyugi jogi ti weti Senegal dina nyu uti lolo tuti why in 1807 the British then abolition the slave trade in in UK ba pare fepa fo hamentene it was a British uh, colony wala fo hamentene British si amneng falaho bugon neng punyu dog fo fulinga hamentene moi jai agenda jam ndegem lolo amnana you don't you neck on nak uh you neck on nak funyo oye johe wala albreda. 
euh James Island ci dum yoyu la gaay nekkon mu nekkon place yu lax lu jitu nak british jidi di nekk fofu xamna de bon na len wa lolu portugais ci nekkon nañ fa ndax am nañ one of the oldest churches in the gambia wo deme alfreda di ko fa fek so lolu dina la wonne uh, it predated before uh, the, the arrival of the british so bi gaay nekk fofu ñu gis ne ñi nga xamantene moy gal yi gal yi et jam yi muy gal yi lo ci yi nga xamantene ñoy et jam yi Yeah, Jawo again. I think he's got an incoming call there. Dembo, yes. Uh, if you want to continue from where we stop. Uh, yeah, I think he was uh, giving the brief uh, background. You buga ambena bara bo hamente ne dene fa muna dem talk suko defe you mun de call finga hamente ne moi gegi the buy hell galie duga a galie gena. Legi ci nonu lañ doon wor nak be gis ay lani banjul way jamono joju batos nako gay today mom lañ ko ñeuka today in 1816 ñu ñew nak bañ ñëwé ñu né xaaral fum nek ni ñu dem out fi bañ démé nak ñu né jamono joju buur tomb giñ doon oyé tumani bojang mom ron ba banjul ci ronam la nekkon amna nak ay outé yu ci nek ñu wax naan onda ñew mi la dégana lolu ci dembo i don't know why amna ñu wax né ci ron way li gëna etaliko moy ne buri combo bu mak bu ñoo oyé tumani bo jang mu magma mom mo sayne li nga xamantene moy banjul manam in a form of a treaty tuba bi diko fay 100 pounds per annum muy 100 ti 100 dirhami angale ba pare diko jox bu teeli rom muy sangara su 444 li lañ jindé banjul suñ ebo ñu ne ak bu jot li lañ daan fay pour mëna biñ joté bi gaay ñëwé nak fekk general grant euh mu ngi fa won ñu and ak lu wara tollu ci ñaari jur tout seni du seni da ko melni signal bi lima doon wax yeb kon genu de am genu na way signal dem nga be ya ngi dem fudi fudi fi nga waxe ni ñaari douzaine fofu la dog fofu la doge all right okay waaw li wara tollu ci ñaari douzaine touba ñu joge gore jamono joju fekk touba bi anglais ñom ñu gi won gore ñu ñew ci lañ ñew banjul bi ñëwé toxu banjul ñene ñi nga xamanteni ñu ngi won boori albert ak james island ñu ñew banjul ñu sanca fofu e garrison garrison bi nga xamanteni mom lañ establish mu ngi nek souljatan present day so deme tay ji fi nga xamantene fala state house neke ñu establish fofu nonu garrison ñom touba bi ñu tok fa legi nak ñu tuye fofu souljatan muy fi nga xamne fala soldat yi nekkon banjul soko xolé comme dembo lim de binda ay dikka la dafa melni banjul nga ne tunda la nga am ay dikka yu bare bare bari yu nekkon ci biram manam ay quartier ni ko français di waye yo xamanteni ñu ngi ci bir comme tay di nga ngi dega afda yi nekkon moka town nga dega malato town wala portugais town nga dega jolof town yi yep ay gox la yo xamanteni ñu ngi ci banjul town yoyu yep dafa am nit ño xamanteni ñoko dekke ak nit ñoñu fan lañ jugé da ñew tok ci banjul kena ku ci nek ba nga ñëwé aada gang fa indi ak la nga xamantene mom nga fa indi ak folklore yi dembo di wax naan tenisi kick de fa ci ben tanka ba jëssi ci ten siling bi lool yeb bu ci waxtaan wi hijé dinañ ko indi wax leen lolu banjul mën nañ leena wax ni 75 mbé dañu nek banjul bena bu ci nek mën nañ la mën nañ leena wax mbé da momu lan mo indi tour wowu ci jëlé ko ci touri touba bi from the colonial name fi nga xamantene mom la general grand joxe won joxon ko ñi nga xamantene ño nekkon soldat yi nga xamantene ño nekkon in the british regiment be jamono yaay jamé ñu gis man i was part of the i was the one representing the young people of banjul ci that committee that was set up by banjul city council with the arts council pour ñu wé ci wa tour yu bare bare bari bir banjul so mu na leena wax touri aada yu bare bare banjul comme mam kati jamé badulo uh, tafsir demba mbay uh, kon yu melni uh, naka lañ ko wax kon yu kon yu yu bare bari di xamna ne ci kanam dina ñew suma ci suma xel way kon yoy yep lu tax ñu tuddé leen nit ñoñu ak nit ñoñu fan lañ dekkon ci banjul ak contribution ci nga xamne def nañ ko bu dé hejna ci programme bi waaw do ko wala sa jaaw em gis nga fi nga doon wax ci affaire garrison bi garrison bi moy bété mu ngi tabax bang fa moy fi ministre of finance nekka nekka waaw 
ak di ang di anglican church fim neka jamono joju fofu suñ ebo ñu ne ala la won luddu garisin bi fa nekkon ganaaw gi nga am manam lu melni tool comme manam ala neen ba pare nga am libi dora am bayal bu yaatu bo nga xamantene moy makate squaya biñ jele jessit bi nak be roba ko yobu ko ñu xar biiri jessit bi fa de costa moma netali li yalla ko yalla yirem moma netali li fega ma ngi liggey sud fm mu ne ñu xar biir bi genn ci fanweri doj ak ñaar hello am i coming out yeah hello yes drop yes yaw ñu wadé ga Interestingly, Jao Amna is getting is getting get some incoming calls, you know. Yes, Dembo, if you may put some ingredients in there, Dembo. Yeah, um, I think he was talking about the the, the story of that crocodile. It was, it, yeah, it was quite a very famous uh, story in Banjul, and I guess you know also because um, part of the the history is that Banjul was a swampy area. And in in some of those places, it's just very common that crocodiles or some of those reptiles would easily, you know, find their ways into you know, people's homes. And the same story was said even in Georgetown that there are certain parts of Georgetown at the time, you know, and even at the colonial quarters, it was not uncommon for you to find, you know, some crocodiles just by the, you know, the gates of the colonial office there. So I think the the natural the vegetation in Georgetown and, and the, sorry, in, in Banjul and the swampy area is a good recipe to find crocodiles nearby, just like in Florida here in the United States. You have quite a number of them, you know, going about their own. Oh, okay, Jao is back. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about that. I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with the connection here. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Where did I stop, guys? Well, I, I was may, talking may, about may, the may, 10 may, ceiling crocodiles. Maybe, maybe Jao needs to pay the 10 ceilings. It's... <laughs> I need to pay the ten ceilings, I think. <laughs> but I, I, I doubt where I'm going to get these links now. <laughs> so, 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 as I was saying, uh, how much fun life is my explain the ten ceilings story? Bunyare birambi, bunyare birambi, bunyare birambi. Wow, wow. Pa de mo 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 mu ne ci la ñew banjul mu ñew ak gali sahari jeri bi mo am mu ne 10 years la ñew banjul joge ndar xam nga kon koku yagana bir banjul in 1923 kon koku yagana banjul torop ci xamna history banjul mo ma netali li mu ne biñ jappé jessit bi mu ne ñu xar bir bi fek ñu yobu ko trésorerie fi mu nekk légui ndax fofu soko xolé moy fi garison bi nekk bena la mu ne ñu xar ko o bur banjul bur banjul ñew kilifa banjul ñew bañ xare bir bi ñu fekk fofu nonu 32 pebbles of stones moy doju ndaw yi xer yu ndaw yi xam nga olof dañ gom ne xawma nak ndax is the same concept la ada yep am waye dañ gom ne jessit at bu jot dafa wona dena doj bu ndaw xer bu ndaw lolu mo la won ab bi nga xamantene mom la jessit am ci li pa de costa netali mu ne 32 stones dañ fa fekk kon dañ gom ne mag ñi ne jessit bobu dunda na fan wéri at ak ñaar ñu ne ñu fekk la mi xaliss ci bir bi ñu ne kon jessit bi don lek nit ñi mom la ci samba tuba la bam jappé jessit bobu nonu ta la jessit gejja tankhaleti banjul manam ten ceiling ba salign gejja deeg ga story bobu nonu amati kon lolu dina la wonné ten ceiling bañ don wax diko jamm amna lolu lu am la ndax degana ñu ne ay max men jëlon nañ len yobu len ci bori tekkat gi pour ñu set té xam nga jitu ci ci wa wali nek nam amna yo xamantene da in kero man ko wax té nek olof diko oyé ngagn moy ndox mo xamantene amul lex ndox mo amul xorom waye bari na jëssit yo xamantene nañ nek fu am mbé ndax banjul so xolé comme dembo lim doon wax rek it's so swampy té man suma bopa bima nekké bima nekké xalel around crab island jëssit feñ na fa gis nañ ko té banjul the last year rek man bima nekka banjul di run for the mayor i just it fay nañ ci ay pa suma yut ci dem video ko te man suma bopa gis nako amna bo xamantene albion place la feñe am yo xamne tabacco road so just it kon lu yaga la bir banjul kon that story of that ten ceiling just it mun na wax ne mun na mo yes tembo
Wow, wow, fofu, fofu, fofu lerna. Um, because uh, the Ghana story, Bobo, a lot of the times, why motor money, the program is so is more important, is that so was story about a settlement. It's always mm -hmm. good in the core, it's also a native of the place. Because the more you say, you want to say, you want to say, you want to say, if we have him here, at least, you know, mm -hmm. we have the story cleared out now. At least, you know, all mm -hmm. my worries and doubts are cleared. And I think going forward, you know, I think we should be part of the, the initiative. Any times we have a program on any settlement, then we have somebody from the area who will you more information, you know, add more value to the story itself so that mm -hmm. other people you have in there from, the, from that same settlement will then you call in if they have additional information to add, you add code. Because over time, this can be a compilation. I mean, it can end up becoming a whole story about how we evolve as a, as a country. Because if those settlements it gradually evolve, that's how we became Gambia. Like when I published the 1904 um, census of the towns in Gambia, all the settlements. So the Gangi Center from 1904, any decade you are not on the list, it means you were formed after 1904. So we are able mm -hmm. to know a lot about how we develop as a country. So I would say thank you very much, Mr. Jao. That is very, very clear. So I'm sure there are a lot more questions uh, that would be coming up. And one of my interesting part is that Musa Nala called like Marse Musante. That Marse Musante be like a body, uh, is it a half die around the port uh, area? Half die, body ports. Wow. Mm -hmm. Body ports. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know whether it's why they call it Musante. Like my, my theory is maybe it's because everything is informal. You know, mm -hmm. they know, like, like maybe like, because the Amso Marse Yohanne, it's just the ordinary person who goes there. You know, you mm -hmm. want something basic, you want something cheap, you buy it and disappear and go your way. But mm -hmm. the, the market is no longer in existence. I don't know whether mm -hmm. because of development, like uh, because you find the ports at Marine and the others, so they had to move. Why well, I find it very interesting, you know, I think many people don't know, or maybe most you know, Marse Musante in Banyu. And maybe you could uh, uh, say just a little bit about that, if, if, if you may. All right, okay, yeah. Uh... That's right. In Banjul itself, we had three markets in Banjul before. You had Albert Market, which was established, obviously, as the name implies, by the British, obviously. You had Marcel Asowaf. Uh, in those days, most of the products that we used to use to paint or decorate our houses was, um, I don't know how to, how to explain this. Uh, it was, um, I mean, it was in a powder form. Uh, it was called Lasso, anyway. Then Dan Dilndok Aglolo Diko Hoyal. It's on Musante, I have been told by Manglano and I like some of the Mam, Momugide Kol Sikir Gisun Kirchasan in Afdai, Be Buyago Benjin de Kezi. Lim explain Moy Limala Wahrek, Mune Marte Musante, Mugi Bori Port won. Lidan Hill, it was it's very, very similar to like our Sunday marketing Amfini. I think you you may have the same thing in in uh, in America. Uh, it was informal setting. Then Danta say Fufu, Lumeni Alarba act. I'm not being in this room. I can't remember why Lumeni Alaba, Yobu, Niobu Dala, Niobu Aimbuba, come, yo, Linga Hamnemonga, I'm secure to Solatu. Come, 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 then Baker gives me a little bit of a question that I'm going to ask you 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 to ask ñom mom dañ fa da nek euh waxtu bu jot dafa lal dafa lal tabul waye nekuton place bo xamantene ay boutique la won comme niñ ko amé in our present day markets euh ci affaire folklore yi ngeena waxtam banjul yagana mo am yu mel nonu bo démé chamen chamen is one of the oldest homes in banjul mu ngi nek ba wa jaw bala bala mala donc we still want to go back to that market 
Um, I just wow. wanted to add something to Albert Market. Wow. Before Albert Market, Nekon Albert Market, there was something going on on that place. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important that people from Banjul or Gambians also know about that. That before yeah. it became a market, that place was a processing center. It was the place where they were processing asylum applications for okay. Nekon Asylum Camp. Camp, yes. okay. Yeah. Ah, yeah, that was asylum that's camp. interesting. So was, I didn't know. Yeah, it was asylum camp. Shindan, being Shindan, that way from either from Nyomi or from <laughs> Salom time or during the uh, Marabu wars. You, and you believe there were a lot of refugees, you know, and then down from, from Salom, from Upper Nyomi, or even from parts of Senegal, southern Senegal, where they call you, but they mm -hmm. knew that if they came down, they had freedom. So, you know, when they came down, they had freedom. So, you know, when they came down, they had freedom. You didn't see that mind. Pofla guy Nekon, and you don't cross your banyu, and you don't get from Sierra Leone to Pofla and then watch Albert Market from Nekon. That would be that would be in the 1850s then. Yes. So it's for mm -hmm. process is an application of asylum. So you approve it, but you do a CV, you can be in your Dugal and Chigal, you wouldn't buy you. So over time, mm -hmm. that, that space turned into a market. It became Albert Market. Why initially, it was a place of processing asylum application. It was a Kampla, Kampla on okay. big space, refugees in Pofla and Nantia. I just wanted to add that to the history of that market area. Thank you so much, Dembo. I, I think it's important to know that. I didn't even, even know. I have never inquired about uh, what that place was like before we had the market established by the British. But as yeah. it, it would make sense because I know quite a lot of refugees came to Banjul in the 1850s. I know that, which also coincided with the establishment, uh, which coincided, of course, with the establishment of Serekunda because Mamsa Erjub, who also had historical links from Kajor and again links in Banjul, how he, uh, him and uh, Gurgim Masamba Koki Job, his brother, and Aram Job right. uh, came, came through Banjul to Serekunda to establish and again during the Soninke Marabu War uh, offered refuge, refuge to quite a lot of people that were fleeing from the Jaras and uh, uh, the other the other parts of the of the, of the Gambia. Uh, uh, so, so I'm so near. It's around. It's around that time then. Wow, wow, wow. Um, because the the story about Sire a little bit just by your direct, like from what I understood, more in a kini let your let your you only want koke. Mumunyo general siko I live in Mukadom, Timchi in Banjul. Go time boy, you know, chekare. So general si I I bal I I fetel a you. Why eventually Samba Koke mum nyo for Delwa Delwa to back. Then he stayed in Yomi. When I dick a beside you call OF not to Bab to uh Hello. 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 Dembo man liga wahma mungia dog man wow hello. Wow wow Lane La Jor. Waman la dig Nan La Jor. Well wa limari la Jor the for you and the key samba coke masamba coke is a brother from what I understand. He's a brother of La Jor. So the no, cousin, cousin Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So the cousin's name. Wow. 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 So the why over yeah, time we have a new problem? Wow, bantan killing. Pofla on. The Lifanek consists story be. Man can read in one of the history books by uh, Professor Asam Sar. He's a Gambian, well-known Gambian professor. Mm -hmm. He's in. He's teaching okay. in one of the universities in the US here. Uh, I would mm -hmm. I would recommend that book to anybody to read it. And he went into detail okay. how not not talk about bantan killing. When could you have plus? Jamano Joji time of Limano were come like uh, this uh, Islamic wars young don happen. So guy have mocking your groovy key, Mama Jaho, on the key Amerfal, Kinyo Amerfal, on the Mama Jaho. Mumla guy, you knew, Prumu attack Samba Coke. Mumla attack and I still have Brizino, because guy then they can win Kojohon guy, guy knew me, then they saw us in Deca. But because Mumu dog on Alabi. In a guinea for Nekon, so you joke a plasma. I give it a young man. Well, Yanana for Defna Faisara, but it's a deaf condica. Why Bungis and a decabulated Tahona, Guy Bugil de Cabisilo, then Chilla under under the guise of religion, Chile attack Fu. So by attacking Fu, Chilla Pirisino, Kinyo Colonel Dazi, Mofanion, 
dimbalé samba koké ci la mom la mom la dek mom la wo bi ñëw di wo of kini ka na ko tuddé ça euh tu bam kolon hmm di batlo tu bam kolon fala gaay défé xaré bi won réy nañ fa almost 350 people mo ñoo fa déwon ci xébi so ci lañ jël moto as as part of land ak ki mom kër la ban ride nga am ci kër is based on the fact that ki ñi kan sanché place mo mom place bi to lolu la brisé waxon so buy wayé lolu nak légui samba koké jël place bi mo mo fa nekkon den bro dam sayer jom ko ko continuer ñoo cross bara ñoo bañu dem continuer dem bé dem bé sera kunda so i just thought that i wanted to add that ba paré on that makati square bi nga waxon le ay alla fa nekkon that is very true because you bore garrison bo alla fa nekkon why that was the reason why you know because you bore ñi ngi fawne makati square den ko den ko tie won pour place baye de for entertainment or no no makati square was a symbol of apartheid in banjo it was essentially um den ko fa tie won so that nit ñi african quarters it was a, it was a buffer zone between the white quarters and the african quarters so ko gis mu cross mm -hmm. you know from the african quarters new into the white quarters most likely is just going to walk why other than that that was mm -hmm. it was a buffer zone like more like um you are not you are not uh, allowed pour nga dem into the white quarters so as a result billing for that it was not because they didn't go intentional in the park ni ñi defa football ak defa match parade no over time la bu ni ñi settle yi gis na legi ah we have an empty space we don't know what to do with it so they start defa def ice ceremonies why that that area bo wi fa nekkon bi nga wone ala bo it was a buffer zone to protect uh, to prevent you know bring a separation between the white quarters and the and the and the african quarters because boko selo makati square on all the other side dem be bori ci bameli dem bori ganda school fo ñu fa de ko ñop ay tuwa bi ka fa nekko do fa gis ben kër in that area kër yi fa nekko ñop dey were government offices they were own colonial quarters mo fa nekko there is no african quarters around that area because dey ko segregate on so i just told them you know makati square later on even though it started as a segregated land you know we can thank god to say today it's a, it's an empty space bo xamne it is bringing us all of us together as gambians you find a parade you find a sinfonalia you find and all other activities but initially it was not meant for that it was meant to stop people from crossing from the black quarters into the white quarters so it was more like a mini form of an apartheid you know that the colonialists set up over there not necessarily they didn't start on just because they wanted to have a parade there i just thought i was going to add that too thank you pour pour avoir le vote qui est là pour support la si si nga waxone na ala la won ba pare gaay ne ko di other side which is very true i just wanted to add that and confirm that ning non wa is is true thank you ah mustafa su mo mune explain pour doli rek li dembo don explain nonu ño mam sayer ah ma samba ko ki job indi nañ ko bañul sax ndax dañu wax ne bi nga touba bi state house fi nek nonu and that quadrangle dafa bari won ay jine ndax ñom mu ñu ne degana ku mu nona fajje fi jine la ak yu mel nonu mu defal len fa ay ñaan pour dax ay jine yi gi nga touba bi fiñ bil fum nek ni di president de saint mary's church mu nek bori makati square fofu fofu sax touba bi amna lu bari lu len fa jaxalon gi nga bor wol fa bari won ay garab te li xewon dafa bari won ay yo ak yu mel nonu touba yu bare bare bari di gañu neñ touba yu bari ño de bir gambe bañul gogo nonu mo taxon nga amone bameli touba fi dembo di explain non muy clifton road won where which is which was changed to uh, independence uh, drive after being amazing independence it used to be called clifton road uh fu motax la amone fofu moy fi present day age bi neka touba yu bari ñoo deyon banjo neku ne ay wo mo len rey wala lenen way febar yu bari mo len reyon ndax infect yi nga xamantene ñoo amone banjo rawatina yo yeg weñ yeg yu mel nonu sona lon len ñi jere fa yulo fever de gis nga ni ma don explain saint mary's ayla saint mary's church fi neka ñu ma explain ne amna garabi soto gu maga mag bu fa nekkon garabi soto gu mag bo baye hel be legi dam fa de gis soto yi amna ay gueul garabi soto yi nek area bobu ñu ne ñu ma explain na suma explain na ne man dañ gor garab gi daanel garab gi tuwa bi daanel ko biñ daanele garab gi legi ñu dem yaakaar na ñu doon liggey fofu jël break dem ñu wa fekk garab gi suje ko moy mu joga taxaw ni ndekete biñ daanele garab gi way man obviously nga so so jangé nga read sign ak yu mel nonu dina am yene yo xamantene sa xel dina ci ñew ma xalaat ne ndax ñi dogon nañ reen yep ci garab gogu ñom ñu ngi netali nan xawma ndax ma ngi ñew de gisatuma screen bi de 
Hello, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Uh, okay, wow. Hello, is it back? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, Legi, wow. Uh, Garab, uh, Garab, you're not going So, man, lima, lima understand. Lima go moi. Legi, they're going to give you them safety lolo. Nan counties amna fi. Then Daniel Garabgi, Bing Daniel Garabgi, Garabgi nyu baiko, awatu Garabgi suje ku nyu tawat. Wa banyu yep nan, Garabgi du Garabinen, nanga mang nanga mang nanga. It's possible ne du Garabinen. Why man lima diakar moi, nenda binyo Daniel Garabgi, reeni Garabgi yep dogon nenko. Wa lolo muna wa itamit boko selo, ti history Garab a defar yon. Those stories are very arrive everywhere ci bore bu ñoo defar yoni jara soma bi do stories degana yu bari non de dan dane ay garab ñi bi elek ñi ñoo wat fekka garab bi taxawat do story bari degana ko ci in gambe so muna i want to believe that no xewon la do amon la go it was not even in banyul alone am na so many places in gambe you have that have that history bo xamne dane nañ ay garab ñi ne garab the next day ñi ñoo wat fekka mu ngi taxaw so sometimes yes science is is good why you know you never know. Some of these things, you know, when I need to come on our yard, you need to need, you need to need fucking it, and then it's not true. I want to believe that it's a true story. Wow, wow. Demo man, no la ko magine tali. It's not only this one, ma'am. Kuma ne tali lolo. The bima dan, the madan dev bena program bunyo oye guestu, moi moi guestu obviously a history program. Bima ne ka sudefe. Ma worki avdai ki magubari, malaglen interviewlen. Yubari the the collaborated that story. Sileng madon wah mangdon explain ne. Chairman, bokan esok kiri ngah menteri kiri maget lah kiri unjuk abir banyul nyom tam. Anda amno gurgu fana kon kunyo oye tamsi gurgi tafsir biram biram jeng. Mom jangal nasah tafsir dembamai. Minga ham menteri mugi judo banyul in nine in eighteen in eighteen ninety two if I rem if I remember. So wala eighteen ninety six one of those days. So kuko jangal dara bamaone ka halal kon ngah menteri kiri gurgu kiri cefam la kiri guya galah. Se kiri gurgu mung fadente. Kerja tam si bir bir bir, dah nyun banyun sun kerja barat amon port. Tersogi se kerja barat ni ka port, samna hej nasi bi yenan watan muning ko indi lutah lolo. Wai dafa am ay binti ay ay garabi li binti yufan ekon, binti kufan ekon. Yune wahnenye amna bi ana boh hamentene tam ben ben ko. I think Yao is going to come in call again or network pixelation. Yeah, it probably looks like it's a network um, issue out there. Yeah. Yes, unless you want to add something to that uh, demo. Yeah, um, what I what I want to add to that uh, church, the tree, the tree that he's talking about, that sort of tree, um, which is around the Anglican church. This that's the Anglican church by the quadrangle. Just. Just before you get to the Quarangul gates, on your left side, there's a small, tiny church there. And that church is also very important because that church has a history that is very much related to the Battle of Sankande, where the people of Sankande and Jataba had a, a quarrel over a rice field, mm -hmm. and in which the, 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 the traveling commissioner was killed there with two uh, officers. Think about three soldiers were killed, and then two commissioners, I think they were, I think, yeah, I think two commissioners were killed. At least I'm sure of at least one commissioner that was killed there in, in, in Sankande. And they are buried there. Their graves are in that church, that small area just by the quadrangle that the, the, the church that he's talking about, the St. Mary's Church, that Anglican church. It's, it's where the, the dead bodies were buried from Sankande. Yes, so if you want to go. Okay. Yeah, yeah go on, Demo. Well, go yeah. on, go on, Demo. Yeah, you well, were talking about well, the Sankande well, incident. And yeah. Well, let me know what more. Church, church, we don't know what no. We finish sort of in the con, sort of we finish that area one. Mm-hmm. For 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 flying school, for flying school, the governor sit yom ki yom sit well. Nire on Sankande. Sankande wa at the battle of Sankande. Yeah. Sankande agada ba amunda heavy. Nire for flying school, it was colonial administration. You you for flying in the on, for flying school. So the graves are just in that that small grounds of the 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 church area. Ten minutes. Mula no at. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, mangdon wah nechah membing dana lagi Arab Google no no, you nechiron Reni, dan jom fikir ai sujer, ai indal, ak ai bol, you mel no no, ak ai faha, you nechfikir dan jom lulu ak iya karena 
ñune lu mel lu mel faxa 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 wa faxa moy comme faxa moy dajja bi ñe sango ci dex gi ñu fa def ndox di ko tek mu melni ndal faxa oh ok ok wa 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 yi ci yi ko sa se fenken e wa wa mom lañ fek yoyu lañ fek ci fofu nonu te stories yi tam are well collaborated nga ñew ci so ñewé ñu ngi explain tam uh, yakarna bis man xam nga siya wona ko ak yow uh, during the during the second world war if i remember right is that 1948 when was the first world war around that time uh, 1917 say, 1917 that's the first war this is the second yeah, world war because general general black war si nga xamne wa 39 39 wa exactly why this incident happened around 1940 also te bo deme fok na bis man ko siya ak yow dembo uh bo deme fi nga xamantene sofu la pressen mile 7 mile 7 around mile 7 fala fala suma ebo mané suñ airport bi nekkon di military be di military air be sofu la nekkon mag ñi bañu li dañ dé wax né ñu né ñu né euh ñu né jinné gambé gi mo mo naka lañ ko oyé euh sa né mënté rek ak ci naka la tudati woy euh dina ñëw ak suma xel ndax gaay liñ dé wax né bañu la dikka ñu né mag ñi né uh, momo danel uh, aircraft general black bond bi te lolu bo xolé jaman aircraft fa jaman wow jaman aircraft fa ndax mom dafa wonné mom dafa muna mo taka botami fly to germany germany ba pare takat botami del ci wat gambé te bu ñew bu ñew gambé dafa attaque gambé ndax dañ andone ak touba bi angalé so ba moy jox li nga xamanteni moy garab yi nga xamanteni ño fa nekkon muy ñuuli ak ak sibi yi muy koni yi ñu né mo mo kal mo kal visonam ak ñi nan garab gi e garab yoyo ulbateku jine je je kotiye danel e akrab bi mom fa la def mu dé yi yépp so stories la yo xamanteni in banjul it's quite rampant about the incidents of of those things ñu ñew ci ñi nga xamanteni ñoy wa banjul yi ñëk ñew banjul ñi joggé won dal geeti ndar plaf ñu oy geeti ndar ci walo ñena ñi joggé won barñi muy rifis ñena ñi joggé won ñena ñi joggé won goré ndax touba bi dañ soxlon ay lebres bi ñëwé establish the garrison as they must say about 50 man dañ ma woné lu lu égg ci tout ñaari dou séni touba ak dara it's possible né it's it's around that so ñu ñu ñew ñu né biñ ñëwé ñu soxlon ño xamné dinañ sam dinañ leen dimbalé défar ay tali défar ay yéna barap ak yu mel nonu sampal leen ay office ak yu mel nonu ñu dem jël outi ay lebres lolo taxone ñu demone outi ñeen na ci ay hello ye go ne wala sen ñu ngi waré ga so bi bi ñoo ñu ñëwé an bokon na ci ñu ñëwoon muy ñi nga xamantene ay signara lañ dañ leen de wax signara way de de a di malato ñi nga xamantene de we descendants of the portuguese and african wow ñu leen wax signara yi ñoñu so len xolé ba légui banjul so démé ci akku gi di ngi gis ñu hess pek 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 ño xamé té ben mami ay ñaara lañ euh ñoomi ñuy ñu nal euh manam euh hetti olof wonté am sen aada bop am ñu ño solo euh bo démé ndar la ngi gis ñaara yi ñu ño solo té bo xolé magi gourmet yi bir banjul rawati na ñu maga mag nga xamanté né ay askan ci ñaara lañ joggé ñoomi ni ño solo ñoñu ñew ñu establish len moy buffer zone bi dembo di wax before the buffer zone area fofu la molato ci togone ñi ko oyé in banjul di mol a molato town wala portuguese town fofu la ñoñu togone olof yi nga xamanteni ño joggé won bori barñi ak rufis ak ñi nga xamanteni ñena ñi ñeta ñew joggé bori kadjor comme suma ñom mam wali job ñoñu a cause ni ñoñu suma e bo ñu ko xalé ko lañ ci mag ci la djol ndax ñom ay meru jo bi len jour ak sahewer fatma bi nga xamantene moy mami la mo bokan day ak bay ñom bi ñoo ñoo ba ñu de kem in 1819 motax suñ fo skeer ci san mu ngi neeka in afday quite close to to marine fofu la seen keer ci san neeka so ba ñu ñi fogon bor bobu nonu ñu bari ay bor yi rifis lañ joggé ak bor yi bor yi dal ñom ñu bari bari ay lebres lañ won motax ñu bari bari tam bu liggéey ndax ñu bari ñu mëna bënt gaal moy ñu daan liggéey ñu daan liggéey ci marañ bi 
ñom lañ daan oyé sarpanté yi ci mom lañ leen oyé banjul moy sarpanté yi ñi nga xamantene ñoy bënt gaal ñu daan liggéey gaal yu mag yi nga gis ñu daan enu gerté yi gaal yi nga xamantene ñoo daan férir nit ñi jamono ñoo ci bala ñoo am doomal do ñi nga gis ñu daan dégg ay lidi rayta ay lidi ci leen ak yoyu ñoy ñoo daan liggéey gaal yi xanga yu mag yi motax ñom ñu bare 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 bi ñoo ñew ñu indi waale ciosaani fanal nga am jolof taw jolof taw ñi nga xamantene lu ci bari amna ño xamne boori salum liñ jugge eh motax bo deme boori jolof taw di nga dega wa ba ñu ni am salum xet ci bare bari boor bo bu liñ jugge amna ño xamantene ñu ngi jogge wo ñu ngi jogge eh boori fu gëna jëgge dakaru ci bopam moy rifis bu melni ñi ño ay dekk yi ak xet yi nga xamantene ño togon banjul am nga molato taw nga am portugese taw Molato Town, Portuguese Town, ak fanat jaw dama am jaw we lost jaw again uh, yes uh, dembo yeah um i think uh, just following up I, he was talking about the the various townships in banjul like i i once wrote about an article that you know banjul is actually not one settlement there were separate settlements in banjul over time those settlements came together to fuse what we call banjul because that was this mokam town that was this portuguese town that was jollof town you know based on people's skills the people were were settled according banjul was a segregated town like i said and most people don't know about it but it was more like an apartheid system in banjul people were were settled according to ethnic groups people were settled according to their skills people were settled according to where they were originated from so you find those is uh, portuguese town are people who have portuguese descent in them so they live in one area they don't mix with the others now you have the jollof towns that is those coming from um, salom area they lived in one part of town you had the artisans on one side you had the soldier town that were the soldiers that were in the british army the the african corps they were on one side so banjul was definitely a segregated place and people were not each of those groups or each of those settlements basically where where had their own community leaders more like their own alcalos and things like that over time you know these settlements these settlements merged to, together to form what is called banjul itself where people were living in communities and those communities had their own leaders if you go like jao was saying if you go to jollof town you'll have the leader in the jollof town if you go to portuguese town they have their own community leaders if you go to a soldier town you have their community leaders so gradually these townships more like the townships you will hear in south africa those townships grew people settled according to an identity that they had either they came from a particular area or they are identified with a particular ethnic group or they are identified with a particular area of origin place of origin so this was you know what was going on initially at the when when banjul was founded the limo bu gona yokari jaw just a little bit silinga won moy bi gay ñewé you know fi ñi ka settle interestingly you know it was initially called leopold but i kono oy batos it was called leopold captain grant called it leopold then it was charles mccartney who later on after a few months you know you know asked charles uh, the captain grant to change the name of the settlement to batos named it after um, all of batos why initially when they started it started as leopold and then after leopold then it became batos okay. i just wanted to add that while you were on break oh, thank you. you had that yeah. connection Yeah. Yeah. You can continue. Yeah. 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 As, as you were saying, that's very, very true because Banjul they had the, yeah, the, the, the different leaders. Uh, if you look at it, all these various settlements had like indigenous people that came or immigrated to Banjul who were community leaders. For example, in Abdai, there is Mam Salum John, who has maintained city Mansawali John la, minga has maintained Burla won, cha sin koku nonu bokka na ci the oldest and the first settlers in in banjul uh ci area bobu nonu abdai te ngid la fa won nga dem bo deme wali soulja town sa sa jata won o jollof town rada uh yang fa amone ku melni mam jarga nday mam jarga nday uh mod yakarna was the xaw ma kan la won ci bur salum yi hejna suma suma toge hejna dina dina ñewat suma xel fom ñi a we di like the 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 various community leaders yo xamanteni 
maga maga mak dan dede gali gile nga dege nyi nan la njay jargala jogi nga dege nyi le nan la man man ya njay en njay en sidi la wala xam nga yoy nonu yeb a ñi we individual leaders yo xamantene de we in banjul man don netali ne bi ñoo ñoo indi walé ne lu melni fanal muy ciosan go xamantene ndar nga ko dan feka nga feka ko yit gore ganaaw lolu banjul nga dan feka ciosan ciosani fanal te liñ dan wax ne there was there was a thief competition wala lo xamne da dan am ci digante town fi lolu dega la dañ dan am fanal nga am fanali afday wa afday ñu am fanal jamono be of late ngay dega ñu mam mam mari samuel njay ñi nga xamne ñu dan Yahoo is gone again, pixelation. So, Dembo, you were saying um, Banjul used to be a segregating uh, kind of thingy, or oh, is here, Yahoo is here. Yeah, Yahoo is back. <coughs> my yeah, apologies, I don't know what's happening with my connection. I'm really sorry, guys. I know okay, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not right. the kind no, of thing okay. that anyone it's wants technology. when yeah. they're Yeah, yeah, like I was saying, uh, Banyul was a segregated town. People lived according to uh, an identity. I mean, an identity either based on where they originated from or an identity based on uh, an ethnic identity. Because, like, those who descended from the Portuguese lived in one part of town. Those who were Africans but then came from a certain part of region, like Jolof Town, you know, people from Jolof moved in that area. People from Moka Town lived in one particular town. People, you know, who were in Soldier Town, that those who were part of the security systems you know, also lived in one part of town. And then you had the colonial quarters, which is where yeah. the quadrangle is going all the way down to Marina Parade and then where the Minister of Justice is. So in those areas, you'll find out that most of those houses that are there are the, the colonial uh, quarters. And the Makati Square was basically a buffer zone. It was not a square for parade and things like that. I think Jao is back. Yes, Jao is back. But before Jao, uh, I was wondering, uh, uh, how does this... Uh, Abdai, Tobacco Road, uh, Ghana Town, Soldier, uh, Soldier Town. How does that all came about? No, 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 because you were saying earlier, ne, that one is Banjul was a segregated, you know, kind of town or so. So how did that all came about? Do you know? Yeah, I, I think it's true migration. I mean, when people come in, they identify themselves with their people. Like even here in Seattle, um, there is a one part of Seattle called Bala. If you want to find anybody from who has origins from Scandinavia, go to Bala. You know, you'll find all the Norwegians there, all the Swedes, people from Finland. And if you want to find all the um, Volvo vehicles in Seattle, go to, go to Bala. That's where you find all the, because they still drive, most of those people still love to drive, you know, Scandinavian vehicle, which is the Volvo. Even though their great-grandparents came from Sweden or from Norway or from Holland, you know, they still identify themselves as Scandinavians, even though they're Americans. I mean, their great-grandparents came here from 200 years ago. But that identity is still there. The people keep, we, we all keep some identity with us, where we came from, and we hold on to that history. And I think it's important. It, it shows to us how we can, you know, trace back our origins, how we can trace back the migration itself. So I think it's not just unique to Banyol, but it's even in the United States here, there are many towns that, that are named after the, 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 the villages that they left, for example, in Ireland. There are a lot of, you know, towns, big cities here in the United States. You'll find that their origins are small town settlements in the UK. So people name their settlements based on where they come from. And it's normal then when people come into Banjul, they will give them names of places that they come from or they identify themselves. The same thing if you go up country, you'll find similar names being repeated either from, from Guinea or being repeated either from Casamas or being repeated either from Mali or even be repeated even in Mauritania. Depending on who settled it, we try to, you know, name our settlements based on where we come from and we identify ourselves. And in those days, because you had uh, 
the migration was just recent, you are more comfortable in your own group than moving into another group that you don't know. So I, I want to believe that's one of the reasons why those settlements evolved. Yeah, all right, thank you. Yeah, it was about 50, 50 in numbers. Yeah, it was about 50 in numbers. And again, you know, I mean, if uh, you as a brother, Mustafa, you, you, you're a brother and you, you for, for example, settled in Nottingham, you're the first one that settled in Nottingham as a Gambian. When I come, you're my host also, I decide to stay, stay with you and then bring my family. Possibly by that time, I've already established local connections or contact, or I may have possibly started working in the area and things like that. You do you know what I mean? The kids go to that uh, to schools around the area. So this is gradually what happens in 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 terms of Banjul as well. It was about you know uh, if you go to if you look at our communities, even the Gambian communities in the in the UK, you go to somewhere like uh, Bristol. There is a large population of Gambians from from Gunjur because of the relationship between Gunjur and Marlborough, for example. You know you 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 you, you can talk about about similar things, uh, the relationship between, between uh, uh, Landry Hans and, and uh, the Devonford University took some of us to, to, to Leicester. Do you know what I mean? Because Dr. Sala was the first Gambian that was there. So because of our, our links and establishment with him, we decided to stay there. Do, do you, these are some of the things that, that tend to happen anyway. Lima don't want more nekane. Uh, goes back to the time of King George the fifth. Degana so these are traditional fanal songs yo xamantene wa banjur be legi da nga di nga xale yi ñu ko way ñu bare bare xamuñ minin bi ya sigalum came from a massive and what you call a big family home in in afdai in 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 lumen bo xamantene boka na ci one of the original homes yo xamantene ñom tam ñu ngi nek afdai because i was born and brought up in afdai lu mu mëna wax ci banju rawatina afdai bari na torop so ganaaw gi nga am ñom yaay ñom o ko drame naka nakati ya arete mbocc ñu mel nonu bot ay compine nga ñew be jamano mam ga ba jaxumpa ak jamano per sar ñay ñoñu am sen ay groupe fanal ak sen ay compine sen compine jigen ak yu mel nonu these were things yo xamantene ñom ñu bare bare dañ ko indi walé mu nek ci san afday ñom ñoo daan sol ni ka bu kay ñuuli sol sa jatta won wala jollof tan ñoñu sol ni ka bu kay weex yi ci gor ñi jigen ñi sol ay baxa ba pare def manam jamu def xex so ci sumpa ba pare def ay leti dunu balé ay kala ak yu mel nonu ñu genné libi dori ak yu mel nonu ñu daan genné ay fanal di def competition ñomi neen duñ daan laalanté nak bu ko défé buñu waxé né ñi sen fanal bi fanal li tay ñapa la nga dégg wa baaj wa afday né salje town ñu naan leen lo leen doon sébé wa afday jir rayo gi ak leen ñu ngayé ñu mel nonu ay wëy yo xamanténi dañ daan gaaru walé wanté su ñëmé bé tassé duñ xéx duñ yax fanal li kenn ak sa morom waye ku ci nekk di nga sanni sa morom kaddu comme ni nga amé fu mu nekk ni how do we call them idiomatic expressions uh, proverbs ak yu mel nonu wala dugga ci kër gaaru walé de mbo xam nga lima wa uh, all of the wala ganaaru wala wala gaay wax da da ganaaru wax sa soola exactly so xamna ne naka lañ ko wax mustafa xam nga lima lima buga explain yoyu lu yaga la bir bañul de bi ñoo nek xalel ñun time bu bu nonu bañul lampa bari wutone wa sondel lañ daan def def ko ci fanal yi te bo xole fanal ci sanam i don't know whether you saw my article on it around christmas time man ko bi man ko share one on facebook explain even ci sanam so deme somewhere like brazil you will see a similar thing ben tay bo deme ndar fanal yi nga xamne mom lañ de am werge yi ak tay ñapa yi di sem fanal bo lu nga fek bi banjul te mag ñi bi ñoo ñoo nekku ne lu rek lañ indi wa wa do do ko wala sa man no read in one book there in fact there is a lot of people ñu xamne ci time dan japp nit ñi di len jamlo ñu bari from sin gambe era they went all the way to peru a lot of them were sent to peru in latin america wow 
So, Lina <laughs> Wanunu, uh, that would support Lina, that culture would have either been transported way back down to that area. So, you never know, you know, <laughs> Gambia could be very much, most of those African Sinaka in Peru could be our own cousins. You know, the majority of them that left Gambia also were sent to Peru in Latin America, Brazil areas. A lot of them knew for them because they have done living. Come in and bay, I bay living in Malo, bay living, I live in Nakaroti, Moha, you know, I bay living in Nakaroti, Napayegui. They they took those skills already yeah, from us. They went there and then used the same skills mm -hmm. over there. What is it? So, say that in Lekaisa, when you're talking with the, with the Latin meals in Latin America, they're very close. I'm Malo Mufabari, Malo Nyebe, I hear you. So we have that connection there. There's a lot of movement of Gambians from that area to Peru and Brazil. And it's, 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 it's yeah. true. It, it, we have no, that culture. No. You're very right. Because, mm -hmm. This law, the, Zimba, the, the Zimba dance is very, very close to Nino Feche. Bepare Bohole, you bingle dinner, a bingle gana, a human known. Bepare, the mother of research, research about Fanali Banjul, a human known. One name, Manema, Fanali. Jil nen ko bete iji bo deme ke Brazil ding fa feka fanal. So lulu dinala wone there may possibly be a link of uh, the African um, the African Americans in South America in those parts of the world. Muna amyom yu bare bare komlinga wa suny kozin suny suny bo arbilin juge hamna mota komlinga explain ni sen so hole sen leka mubari ai leki heti pepe yumen ni yun linyo linyo dunde yun suny bo pa. Mangron explain ni magita binyo juge ai ndar argument nono. In the wale when you want direct funnel, then in the wale lumen ne get to bab. Get to bab, lose tomorrow and kill a one beer banjo, while a gambe chibopam. Amuton, how am I getting get to bab? Uh, I'm getting get to bab. Get to bab. Garabla? Yeah, well, get to bab. Banjo ranga kodan gis, banjo nga kogis, sudu banjo, ndar nga kogis. Amut fen in Sabir Senegal, ludundar ak banjo. That explains lutah nga magni, lula one magi, a kirches and you buried the banjo. Uh, nyo amon gere to bab. Bode me gulosta suma kere nyo mi ay. Uh, gulosta seka ba che suf. Nyo amon nyo gere to bab guwe. Nyo nda nda neka halel. Bae fa gere to bab guwe. Dem yenem kere. Fori gere to bab. Ndig nyo mbing am. Bohong hala. Uh, Den indi wale won gere to bab. Nyo indi wale lene nyo oye waraj. These are exotic fruits yo hamentene. They were alien in, in banjul. And the gambia for that matter. Te inga dem ki kombo. Ginga feka wa banjul. Ak yenem kere yo hamne amne nyo. Bena bena kirna gis bir kombogi yu am gere to bab te nyoko 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 gis nyu am konyu bare bari banjul len juge kon chosanam munga neka bori ndar fala nekon te ndar island la kom banjul nim neke island it's it's uh hamnane it's about 300 and uh hamna bori 56 years old banjul uh as per record hamnane would be about 203 three years old also so the flower ne ndar moy magi banjul te lubare bari kunuro bing in the uh gere to bab Mange wa ni momenta ni ya kwa mengi almond. You know almond? Wa refis. Wa refis is is almost. Refis was like in 1346. Refis move from that time the French were there. That's way almost 600 years or more. Ol. Hamga jal job si bopa msa borbo buno nola jogi moi ndakaru kiko establish borbo buno jogi hamna ne lulu kenya si yenen wastan dini indiji kom yuvel no ni jogi sinyom la jorak yu because yom yep amne ni relationship a connections in banjo a gambe si bopa why lima don explain moi ah deng indi wale kesi wale indi wale niyo oye waraj hamga te yang yang don explain ba meri fumieka magi banjo so he danga dega Yuna la mansu nyo wadenga diga wali jibanjo banga cha wala jache banjul. Mari jibanjo banga cha wala jache banjul. Omar jahate nga cha wala jache banjul. Tuta njo banga cha wala. Hamga kom yu mel nunu. Wala jache banjul. Nyubari den fogne mwoy ba mel. Ba mel be is not. Eri be len don oye wala jja. Mag nyibin nyo we banjul. In 1816. Den indi wale gerti tubab. Indi wale wala jja. Wala jya nyibin nyo neka halal. Den kodan fori. Fi tati perebi. Bilegi. Bode ne chi bori ba mel ifum neka. Dang fade feka. I'm not so under this na be na garab also. Why then cover down for a bit on a halal? So like a nyambi, the for round me, give a tooty and apple. So call like and repare. Then then hoh be. Then cover me ni get to have ni mel. Munga kujil so choko hoh be the for round. The for so to get the shell. That nyambi for the neck of the round. Mu upa get to have. Then cover down muna like. If they many come almond ni mel nun ladite. A fresh almond also. Legi lo la mangi tutu wanti waragi. Wado dega wara gacha ndakaru, wado dega wara gacha barinyi, wado dega wara gacha ndar, wara gacha banjul nga dega. Nyo yifaa denche nak, magnyi nga hamelte nyo dan gena adgirina. 
legi nak motah ngai dega sunyo caga sun mami ngai dega nyisen mami ganyo neka banjo sa jurum nyari mama ngai cawara gacha banjo diwa ngai cawara gacha banjo diwa ngai cawara gacha nyu bare bare domi banjo lenyu ay hamun lutah nyu nan wara gacha banjo sugi sun nyu nan lut wara gacha banjo garap ganga hamen tene mo neka banjo lulu lenyu bayun tutu koko fa mom lenyu motah nyu nan wara gacha banjo ma ema bungfu Wah, lo, that's 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 very normal. Even si kau gisa, you gonna bury. I'm the si 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 ba merit. I'm not the na the new I'm the na grab bumak. You have the na kill if I need to catch the kavi. You if only the dance soon. You know soon you know I have the na plus. Why si I'm the na I'm the na grab bumak. You have the na kill if I mak catch the kavi. You only the na kule. What about the new hamelen? We new 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 answer. Hamelen the film al kali the film nekon imam the film nekon. But nekon I kill if I mak. You don't grab you mak you know you know you know dance soon for. So it's normal mm -hmm. to see that same tradition in Banyol. But that's just one thing about Amaran Dogre, because when I'm not going to get some time, we'll get them. It's just well, no more than a red point. Like, mm -hmm. well, because the key, uh, which I also want to add more, is the first prison, the more building, the uh, education building, Bedford Place. I just wanted to add that, mm -hmm. because last time we didn't discuss what much you want to do. It was mm -hmm. the first prison in, in Banyol, for the land that you did, for the land that you did. The Fulfland and Ray Ningitamit. That was the execution house. The Gallery. I know the Fulfland Nekon. Wow, Fulfland Nekon, Fulfland and Eskid Ningi. Then over time, after we stop a little, then the first power station will be new. Fulfland and Ami generator put electricity in Banyo. Then after that, Lenko moved over with them outside of Banyo. Then he became the Minister of Education. So it's a very important building. Ningi, the Korea Roma for which he marched with them. Why I don't think many people understand that that building has a lot of use in history. Well, use Nenko as a prison, use Nenko as a power station, and then it's now the Ministry for, for Law Education. Well, for yeah, it is law education. education. Well. Mm -hmm. well, basic education well, for, for Fulan. I just wanted to add that. The last week, I didn't explain that. I just wanted to put that in. Well, uh, no matter why, why you will continue to do it, Dede demo 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 mantap muna MC ni wow Mustafa Mustafa dan wow demo alai ko penau no one one hour lah aku wohon dan aku dan aku running running out of time aku mula mula like one hour demo demo purdo le la rebalang adem konten yang buah bahan ini je Mustafa balad demo di dalam bimawa aferi building segio yu bah na purio ini ngah hamne the the first legislative council in the Gambia mungkin ni akan film museum bini ni kategi Kufu ni kwa Independence Drive, moja ni kwa the Legislative Council in in the in the Gambia. So lulu building yu mel nuno, ai palasi tarik la te it's important for Gambia nchi hamu karawati na wabanyo. Dere Jeff Dembo. Wa 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 mo la mo la sinyo sinyo deglu tiara rsi bika ina the anti room, anti room. In the colonial times, film museum ni kwa that was almost like the anti room. Kufla kufla governor be a, a colonial staff before then i'm saying, I'm saying weekend evenings here yeah, the reception in the way hopefully mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well, then gradually then it turned to what it became and i think later on it became the national library mm -hmm. why well, it was the library as well well then the then national library moved then it picked up into as a museum wow okay mm -hmm. before you go it's a quick one yes um when was mile two prison built do you know which one Mile two prisons. Uh, two. <coughs> uh, no. Okay. I, I, I don't think I know that. I'm in to more life, baby. Well, okay, I'm calling. It's okay. Debo, thank you so much for your effort, time, and energy. Unless, uh, what's your final thoughts? You said your program is in the middle of the day, and Thank you so much, Debo. 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 Thank you so what is your name? You still have more. Yeah, who knows about you? Yeah, good days. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. We need to exhaust it. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Dembo. Yeah, yeah. All right. Hello. Yeah, I'll come back to you. Wow. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Man, how many limat decimal tambari? What poor hard young don't like it. Konyi banjuli. Smo mune nyo chilo lu chilo gaure. Oh, you can you can go on for the next seventy minutes. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Ah, koi. That's good. Konyi Banjuli, soko hole amne nchufu aba 75 Street. Mangdon wahne, bare bare bare, tubabi yile nyem tude won, ay Hopkinson, ay Grand Street, ay Liman, ay Wilberforce Street, ay Bokul, nga dem, am Angul C, am Denton, embankment area, 
di yep ay tour la yo xamantene bo ñëwé even in britain wala nga xam di history of of britain nga xol ñun suñu tour yi koñ yi ay lancaster ay gloucester yi yep jenay ay dekaleñ yenay ay tour yi soldar ay tour yi ay borom dombo tank yo xamantene they worked in the british establishment during the colonial days ño xamantene ñom lañ tudé won koñ yoyu nonu bi yaay jam ñëwé euh ñuy doon xelat pour nationalize tour yi ka koñ yi ak gox yi in banjul rawatina banjul because banjul is the only area in the gambia for xamantene you've got something very very close to like uh, a postcode the postcode system bi am in the uk wala in the west uh yeah. wa dega nako affaire imam de gandour kagn la don bursalum ok jere jere thank you kola ok wa mam mam be gandour euh mom ak numbe ndour ñom ño bokka nday ak bay euh ñom ñom jarbati jarbati euh bursin lañ won ñom xam nga bo demande sin euh the uh, claim to the throne uh, would follow the the female or the maternal line hegna dembo dina mona gena expand ci lolu mu donon jarbat warona tafalu fin way mu am uh, ku don wor uh, lawbe yi dañ la dan aye uh, daniel garab lu melni samedi uh, muy wor a uh, gis ben garab bu rafet ben law be gis ge dama ko gasar gis ge na garab bu rafet 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 bu ga go wa jamono joju timis passé na te mag ni dañ gomné comme ci islam sax timis bu commencé comme tay bu féké né ñu né wër wi fegn na tay suba dañu or comme elek la wër wi di comme timis dal elek ci mu ngi commencé bu timis joté ba mo sen ba mo gis garab gi pour daanel ko mom law be ba mo gis garab bu rafet gi né ni dé dama ko bu ga daanel way ñeme ñu pour daanel ko ndax aljuma tay ci guddi la wor set di samedi ci waruma daanel garab waruma gor ci all bi mu jël semi ñam ci tegg garab gi manam euh euh nias ko ba paré bay fa semi ñi ci elex mu dédou té ko garab gi ko wor na nekk sam bayon garab gi mu wor 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 wu ala bi yeb gisu garab gi jëmi jamaano ñu tok nak man juuf mi nga xamanteni mo jur mo jur euh mbegan ñuy wax né ñu né dégg né né garab gogu dey feñé na dekk bu ñoo oyé kawo moy kawtef euh mo mo ko bo xolé salum ci bokam mo force capitaliste salum bu ngi né kon ko mo ñu né garab feñé na fofu ci manam island ci bénn dun ñu légui mu am ñu fa nekk ñuy jaamu garab ga bo démé tay ji ndouren man suma yaay is a descendant of mbegan bo xolé ndour mo ma jur euh ibrahima ndour ni ko jur mom té na ci mbegan direct té euh mamam yaayam bo fa direct sét la ci mbegan uh what happened was motax ñoñu ñu dena oyé jami ke ka won duñ ay jam ñoñu dañ téé won ten man wala way traditionally dañ doon jamu garab bi xam nga ñun uh religion uh, uh, the arabic religion and the Christi- christianity ak yumen non islam ak yoyu yaagutu ñew suñu bor lu jitu li ji di ñew nak ci la ñoñu doon jamu garab yi ak yumen non légui nak da gaam area di garab gi nek ak ni ñoñu nek fofu mo jigé nam nak ñu wara dem xamna né euh dembo xamna story bi dina ko gëna mëna explain jamono joju Eliban Moussa euh mo fa nekkone nekkone fa manam Khalifa bir Salum amone gor ku ñor oyé Salum ci waré euh do non ko xamantene euh borom xam xam la won jogo won ñu man di ko def manam nekk jigé nak di fa di fa jangalé di fa jangal Quran ko gëstu dinem tok ci dun wo tok Salum ñu tudé ko nak quartier bi tudé ko area bi Salum legi mambegan nak bañ ñëwé mu buga mu buga doon bour amuñ am exact date as when mambegan was there i think that predated written history way ci liñ netali mo doon bour bu ñëka bir bir sal bu du lañ netali amna ñu né elibana bour la won way soko xolé iliman la won euh manam nit diiné la won muna am tamné comme niñ ko dé amé religiously nga amné iliman bi 
kilifa la te mo mo jité community bi mo jité diiné gi ak yu mel nonu mu nga wax né eli banna moussa bour la won waye euh ci wali mbourga ka nga xamanteni moko fokar ñi ci loxom jël ko moy mambe ga ndour euh ñu né ci niko ri netalé ñu né ci dëm ba ulba ci daan ci ga ci daan bon yi ak dali euh eli banna moussa da euh mat ko dali té man nga ulba ci ko fe diang ñune <laughs> ci time ñom di gelawar dynasty from the written records ne mo ngi start around 1330 all right, okay. Thank you for that, Dembo. Eh, Jao, come continue because Yang, you are you are on a very important point there. Sorry, but I don't know what for where. Eh, my street. Well, I'm not going to Daniel. I'm not going to Daniel. It's a coiny wreck. So go there. Then you switch and I'll one or two callers. Then then you mona rap. Ah, lima 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 in bed. I see banjul. You bare bare. You today ko ah ah. Nigga, how many times I to babble? Yeah, yeah, me nyona. Amon helat burafet nyom pamba ika wag nyonyo. You have to know that we are for contribute. So I was helping the the group. Mota na komli malawa ne konyu bari bari hamna ko kom Hopkinson man fima fima judo yarofa Hopkinson in Abdai. Nyungo today mam katigame mam katigame mum wa banjo la mugi de kunken street. She was a traditional bat attendant. Mum digen nyu bari 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 jamano juju. Danga amon feka in the this is this is like in the early fifties. Hamane mom niga hamenti ni rendan judo unda lidan heo time bubu nuno midwives bari win train midwives bari win one. Mag niga hamenti ni yoda team digeni yo bari one legi mom kena la one tinyo nyu yujel ko today ko boka nati niga hamenti ni mom ling today bena koi. Tafsir demba jani yimbai komli ma explain judo in eighteen ninety Six, if I remember right, uh, in Banjul, Domi, do, Don, uh, Domi Kuliyuma, Ak uh, Mom, Chosanam Don, Kany Mor Mom Chibopa, Mujudo Banjul, uh, Jange Chi Gurgi Biran Jeng in Chamen, Momling today, Tafsid Dembambai Road Chi Tabako Road, uh, Donon Alim, Mom, Tafsid Dembambai Jang Mumu, Don Boka Negi Imam Wakaba, Imam Wakaba Mumak, Domi, domi Sair Matiba, Mega Hamentene Maba Jahuba Mokuju. Hamnani Higna Sunyo Def the other part come Lidem Bowa, Munenyo Dugachi Maba, relation to Mak Banjul, Ag Lutahon, Mudawale Mam Mati, Dugal Kochi Angalegi Indico uh under the British, for you protect them there some win, Lamo in the Lolo, Ag Domon Yiga Hamentene, Don Ning I Ilimani Ratip, Don Ning I Imam, I half is Bir Banjul. Tafsir Dabonabungam, on a the longest serving uh Boka Niganaut uh Gurgi Pacham Menga. Uh, Gurgi Ch Cham Yai Kon. Uh Ndahmom, Jamanu Umam Wakaba, uh La Don Tefogna Imam Wakaba, Muginek uh Muginek uh uh Imam Irati. Um I'm just trying to to recall uh Ban Iela, why Hamani Donna Donna Boka Niga Moy kom PR or Mun Banyul, Dang de Am uh, Imam Rati Chosan Labi Banjul, Komne uh, Kinga Hamentene Moy uh, Gewel Bala Lenma, uh, it's only a traditional practice in Banjul. Lo Am Am Ham Ham, Lo Neka Neka Borom Ham Ham Agimel Nun, Bodone Gewel Dundena Mugadon Imam Bir Banjul, Why Bodon Imam Rati, Why Munga Neka Bokanik, Alaji Tafir Demba, Borom Ham Ham Lawan. Yeah, sorry, Neko Ton Bokanegi Imam Waka, Bokanegi Imam Mumodu Marijaila. Nda Imam Mumodu Marijaila nito chano ndeko Imam. Wai ham ham di yati wuto lol. Wai tafsi demba jangon gim janga ak ham ham bim abu. Njil kwa ndeko Bokanegi Imam wui PROM. Kinga hamen tene yae di spokesperson of the Imam. Yae wak, so Imam wahe yae jyotale ak yumel nono. Mui jimbali Imam Mumodu Marijaila. 
bam fa joge yakarna amna yenen imam rakib yu ñew de jamono imam mod lamin ba mi nga xamantene imam wakaba mom tafsir demba don don na boka negam bam baye sala jarbatam alaji babu samba don wa mi nga xamantene gur gi kara samba ne kon na generali cheikh omar fouti joge banjul mom ci mo fa ndax cheikh omar fouti bi mo ñew banjul in the early 1940s a jamono joju nonu uh in the in the 19 for na ñu ñëw na fa ñaar yi in the 20s am igeñi ko bo ci nga xamantene moy gor gi tafsir uh tafsir sa loli ci samba mi nga xamantene mo bayyi tafsir tafsir demba mo mo bayyi alaji babu samba tafsir ibu samba ñoo bokka ndey bayyi general am la won mu melni banjul kilifa yu melni traditional name yi nga dega tay ji ñu bare 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 dafa am role yo xamanteni mom lañ play traditionally in banjul ñu feyel len ko bañ sen family faté ko motax ñu bare bare ñu tudé lañ ay koñ ay mbéda ak ay gox in banjul tay benna street nak independent drive la bu ga xam nak jawo man ya kana ki romang ci waxtana dembo uh what happened is biñ amé after independence ta ko gaay change to independent drive why bo clifton road la koñ bi tudon bala mo nek independence drive during the colonial time clifton road la koñ bobu tudon mo nekon di main road bi nga xamantene mo la dugal bi banjul bo joge ci combo gi ganaaw lolu so baye hel dafa am yena ring main road yo xamantene box ba bena la independence drive bena la hegan street bena la wellington street bena la den nga am bon road yi ñoo wor moy main koñ yi nga xamantene so ebo nga ne ñoy di main outlets of banjul uh, Clifton Road ma ngi né sali bes ma ko né tali ki dembo yakarna last week la bi ñoo waxtan ci affaire banjul ma ko né tali né ko i understand from tafsir ge and from records that i have seen uh, based on my grandfather my mom's his father uh, my mom's his own father uh, their family home in Sikabi uh, Gloucester uh, number 34 Gloucester tay xana ñom they were around Clifton Road pour la sen ma né ko choroju ak ñu jigen ñu ñoo oyé ya banna sax way ay noné suma mam was born suma ay papa was born in the 1920s ci kër gi fofu understand na né in 1920 something if i remember ci lañ leen 1915 ci lañ leen mo fofu nonu because guy dañ reserve won yena lands in those areas so independence drive mu na la won né clifton road mbeda bu yaga 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 xamna né dal bokana ci ñeen road ci nga xamantene di british mapit <laughs> then that's how that name got transferred to Banjo. You named that street after the same Clifton. We have there is another settlement just before we go to Bacau. But that Clifton now has Demo, been absorbed Demo, by Lolo, Bacau. Cliff, that Clifton town, Nekut Teiji, where Cape Road, around the Cape Cape Road, Cape Point, Borbo Bunono. Bala Cape Point. Now, Cape Point now. Wow. Little my so one, Lolo, it, 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 it would be town now. The little man lol yeah, it, it was uh, quite a link with banjul ndax ker yu bari ñun ker yu suñ ker ci sañ ñi jënd bir afday dañ leen joxone settlement fofu nonu ñu fay leen halis ñene ñu bari ñu jox leen fa xamna ne family imam mod lamin ba bo demé korentam ñomen ñu bare bare bari ñu jogé afday ñi jël seen ker yi def ko ci port bi tay ji ñu leen settle area bobu so demé sax afday lañu oyé légui area bobu nonu before bakaw mu ngi nekk ci fi seen faro yi nekkon nonu a uh, bori uh, wow. fi nga wax cliff tin bori ke point area bobu nonu fofu len ño xamna ne ñom fatu ba ak wa koren yeg yenen family afda yu bare bare bima deme banjul di wordi campaign la dem fofu ñu ne ma afda settlement bu es bi mo nek ni xamna ne it would have a strong link ak banjul kon wow yes. so it, it was yeah. a simple link because like i said before big guy don't want a name in this guy john morgan ki nga xamne mo ngi ñewon banyol in 1821 boy after 5 years bi jene banyol mom ci lim bind bind ci bugal bi mu ne ñi nekkul banyol at the time buñ ko jaayé dafa am ñu fa joggé won dem sanchez place bu es bu ñu oyé ba koko mom no la ko bind ci bugal bi ba koko mo ne mo nekk bakaw ligi 
kon dafa melni ne comme bañu mo mo mag bañu mo jur bakaw bakaw ci fa joge won ci alam bi ñom ñoo ñoo sanca dëkk bu ñew bakaw ci bëgg bi mu fa bind ba koko té mom mu fa ñewon il est in 1821 la fa ñew bu moy di force danaka missionnaire bi ñewon bañul euh pour indi fa christianité mo mo ben euh pasteur bi joge Sierra Leone at the time because in 1821 time Gambia was under Sierra Leone ñi ko waye Mr Beka ñom ñaar ñom ñoo sant di missionnaire service in Gambia ñom ñom ñoo sampa ciooj bi nek maninari ciooj bi nek euh makati bes len mission bi ñom ñoo ko topon ak ak kini ta tenda ba tenda ba tam gaay ñoo fa sa ciooj ciooj mo mu ngi wone ne ñi dekkon ci alam bi ko no jaay ñoo toxu dem euh santé place bu er bu ñew bako bako ci soose moy bu ko deggé ci soose bako moy ci wala dex moy wala dex ci ci bako wala dex moy ci wala dex ci benn side river bi to moy indi bakaw tour bi bako itara bako le itara bako ma dike bakaw mom ñu la ko bindé waye wala na clifton mu fa ay clifton den ko mujjé absorb is it by bakaw mom mo dat ci clifton bi mo tudé won independence drive yeref de bo dank ci mo fra ta question eh dem ay jaawo ay ben a place bo xamné dafa jaal naka la ñëwé bogu bala ñu tagato fa nga won ñu baxé ci lo bogu noor moy la sowa Mhm. Wow, uh xam nga ma ngi netale bima explain about Marcel Asoa ci bop bopam. Ne barab la ñu bi ñu nek xale sax mu na fatale ku na fi ñu jaayé ay lasso. Boutique yu bare 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 dañ fa daan jaayé lasso yi. Wow, mo indi lasso. Lasso wa ah ki xam nga ganaaw ganaaw tan bi fofu dafa mon waaf bi fa nekkon. Yaakar na li mo mëna fatale ku lasso yi dañ daan ñew té so démé tay dentin bridge sa da ngi gis ba légui ñuy indi lasso yi ak xorom yi yu ci bari di joggé bori bori sin wala euh fi jual ñuy ñew euh indi len xamna né lasso yi liñ daan lakala diko indi mu amone waaf bo xamanténé mo nekkon ci fofu nonu xamna né lolu mo indi lasso waaf gi le ci lima yakar ay ay want to believe ba paré area bobu nonu dafa amone dégg ci ganaaw tan bi fofu ci fofu dek suñ ko waxe moy crick euh bu fa nekkon mu amone gor gi fa dan nappa mom nak koku ba fa bokon ci dameli euh manam kenn la won ci setti dameli ci kayor ñi ko don oyé gor gi mamar fall koku moy jur euh gor gi emo fall mi nekkon alkali la terkunda jaman mu don ci suma ben tanta guñ don oyé euh ya ami ndjay mom emo fall mi nekkon alkali xaw ma ndax xam ngeen ki ma wa alkali la terkunda jaman wé di sere where the big uh, thing is not the big tree the big mosque uh, in latir kunda jaman uh, is that yeah. latir kunda jaman yeah jaman emo fal di alkalo papam ñu ko doon oyé gor gi mamar fal gor gi mamar fal wax nañ né da fal bokka ci damel yi ci kayor falen la joggé ndax xam nga da nga ñetti kir falen euh ci kayor ñoo ñu daan falé falu ka fal major ak yu mel nonu xamna né yoy itam dinañ ci moussa duggi waxtan ci euh waye damel ñu ngi wax ne momar fall bim ñëwé banjul dafa do non di nappa di nappa fofu nonu ci ci ganaaw ci ci dex gi fofu be fim fim daan nek akko yi fekk ñu ngi ñëw banjul duñ daan mëna wax momar fall so dañ daan ñëw naan am going to malfa krik momal fa krik lolo indi malfa school motax area bobu ñi ko oyé malfa waye momar fall la it's a corrupted uh what bo xamantene akko yi muñ ko wona wax lolou taxon nga dega malfa school mu bokon ci one of the oldest schools yo xamantene ñu ngi won in banjul rawatina in afday ñu ibi ko in 1958 louis ngay ñeka doon di head head mistress ci school bobu nonu yaakar na mu ne ñew em fofu nonu xamna ci yenen waxtani banjul mu ne ñew indi yenen yi nga xam ci banjul digala wa kaadu gi refena dembo bala ñoo taga bala nga dem tagato final thoughts dembo Yeah, um final thoughts moy limo hon rek from the beginning um dey buga for this program if it's possible why pour mona continuer to other settlements why not we have to be able to do that we need uh, gambians to come forward you know anybody you know from anywhere in gambia from kwena to katong we want to hear from you if you are willing to come on board and uh, share the history of your settlement you know we would welcome that because i think it's important that we have a historical account of how we settled how how we lived and how we formed what is called gambia but that that is not going to be possible without having people to volunteer 
and come forward. So please, you know, uh, it is in your interest, it is in the interest of everybody to keep this Generation historical of account of yeah. all the settlements in the Gambia. As, for as long as it takes, with all the settlements we have around, it will be important to know, you know what makes those settlements tick, how did they come about, who, who started them. And, you know, you might be surprised to know a lot more uh, about our own history that we went, might never even know before. So I want to take this as a challenge myself and anybody else that we try, all of us, you know, come on board and, and, and contribute to this series. You know, we can make it a long, a long series. This can go on for more than 10 years because with all the settlements in Gambia and if everybody wants to come on board and talk about it, you know, we can have a compilation either in audio or in video or even in text form where people can go back and make references. This is what happens in all yeah. the municipalities in Europe. Yeah. You know, they have histories of all their towns in their municipalities. So if you go to land issues, if you go to ownership properties and things like that, records, debts, bad, you know, they go to the local library and, you know, it's really available. We have not compiled anything for ourselves. So I think it's important that we start compiling the history of our settlements, how we evolve as a people, how we evolve as a country. And, and, and we will do justice not only to ourselves, but to all the, you know, generations on board, that they will find ready information and material that they can do research. It can also help us in how we, we, we live together as, as, as communities, as people. So on that note, I would say thank you for having me. And uh, Jao, I really appreciate it for coming on board. I'm sure we'll have to go to part three. There's still a lot about Banjo that we may, we may have to talk about. And thank, thank you, Mr. Uh, uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Dembo. We've got this on records, like the copy I've just sent you, or audio records, everything is on records at the minute. So we might archive it or so to keep it thingy. So on that note, we will also thank you so much. And then, well, let's come back to Jao. Uh, Final thoughts. Mustafa, mm -hmm. Mustafa, thank you very much for having me on the program. I would like to say a very, very big thank you to Dembo for the role that he's playing in our community. Um, uh, just a point of correction before I go. Instead of Ya Aminjai, it's Ya Fatunjai, the late Alcalo's wife, who is my uh, great auntie. Um, so I just wanted to rectify that. Right. Um, in terms of in terms of documenting our history, as I as I said at the beginning, uh, we've got a very very rich uh, historical heritage that we must take ownership of. If you look at the Kora, for example, the origin of the Kora is said to have come from the Gambia itself. Today, you go to Mali, they are claiming it. You go to Senegal, they are claiming it. The trouble with us Gambians is we do not appreciate or value our own. This is the very reason why we tend to lose quite a lot. And uh, history is part of our identity. In Banjul, inshallah, when we come back next time, I want to talk about Ndelum, Rule Hutumba. I want to talk about uh, Bakatal. These are traditional practices that, that happen in Banjul. I mean, our own lil is very, very unique and different from anywhere else. You go to Senegal, the lil that we do, the traditional, the rituals that we tend to do in Banjo are completely different from the practices that, that, that the Senegalese do, for example. You go to like our mood, it's also very, very unique. These are some of the important things that we need to talk about, things that we need to document for generations that are yet to come. Uh, those of us Gambians that are in the diaspora, unfortunately, some of us are settled here. Our kids are growing up. Sometimes they ask you historical stuff, and many of us would be kind of uh, would be would be would be snookered and not know exactly what to say because because we haven't got historical records to fall back onto and say here is it. I can direct you to this place and that place. You can find this the answer of this and that does that make sense so this the time is now that we need to step up and make sure that we document this and again uh we must uh make sure that you know uh the platforms like this we create and again celebrate people like yourselves for uh stepping up and bringing such programs i thank you all and uh, um i do apologize for all the uh disconnections that were happening during the show Thank you so much for the time, effort, and energy on this. Dembo, you thank you to you as well. Until we come your way, same place, same time. Uh, my name is Mustafa Jame here at the site. Uh, thanks for being there and have a pleasant day or night wherever you are, Sky Power FM Radio. Thank you so much, guys.
Service called Yaye App. Download Yaye Instant Services application from Apple App Store and Google Play Store to access all our services 24 hours round the clock for your convenience and privacy. Send or receive money to the Gambia, Senegal, Guinea Bissau, Guinea Conakry, Mali, and across Africa for as little as one pound as transaction fee. At Yaye, you can receive money from any of our payout locations in the Gambia, such as Guaranteed Trust Bank alias GTB, Trust Bank Gambia Limited, and at our office in Sierra Canal. Download Yaye Instant Money Transfer and Services application to access these and many more services, such as Q Power Top Up, Mobile Phone Credit Top Up, all at your convenience and privacy 24 hours around the clock. For details, contact Yaya Instant Money Transfer and Services. On telephone number 02085193407 or 0793095706 or 079161483. Yeah, yeah. Instant money transfer and services here to help out. 